Hi, in this Spring Security video, I will share with you some examples about implementing Login Failure Handler in a Spring Boot application. You will learn how to intervene the authentication process of Spring Security to perform custom logics on failed login. Uh, for example, when a user has failed to login, the application will lock that failed login information or limit the failed login attempts and it is try any custom logic uh, you want to execute on failed login. Normally, when a user enters the credentials in the login page and clicks the uh, submit button, uh, Spring Security will authenticate the user and in case a login failed, the application will display the login error page and uh, Spring Security allows programmers to intervene in this uh, process by uh, adding an authentication failure handler here and upon failed login uh, spring security we execute the code in this authentication failure handler and after that uh, the application can redirect the user to the login error page or any page uh, which we want the user to see let me show you an existing uh, spring boot application here you can see in this uh, Spring Boot project, I used uh, Spring Security for authentication and you can see the configuration code for the form login here and log out here. Uh, let me start and run this Spring Boot application uh, to demo the uh, login. And you can see this application is configured to be running in uh, embedded Tomcat server on port 80 context path slash show me here. Okay, now I use Chrome to access the application. Shop me at localhost here. And uh, uh, a user can click the login link here to log in to the application. Now I will add demo login successful. Okay, I have been uh, logging the successful into the application logout, and now let's try to um, log in fail here. You see the error message invalid username or password, and uh, we want to intervene the authentication process to uh, execute uh, some custom logic. Whereas when uh, a user fails to log in into the application. And in this video, I will show you two different ways to run custom logic upon failed to log in. In the first way, we will be using a, a failure forward URL with Spring MVC controller. And in the second way, we will be using a failure handler. Uh, and uh, with a simple case, we can uh, create an anonymous authentication failure handler class and for more complex case uh, we create a separate class that extends the simple URL authentication failure handler here in the spring security configuration class in the method that configures HTTP security here uh, form login here we can specify the uh, failure uh, forward URL here to tell Spring Security to uh, redirect uh, the user to this URL in case the user fail to log in. And the URL must start with a forward slash. For example, in case the user fail to log in, I want to uh, direct to this URL failed underscore login and when using this uh, failure forward URL we need to implement the corresponding handler method in the uh, Spring MVC controller so I have a Spring MVC controller class here and uh, now I need to implement uh, a handler method and note that uh, the login process is uh, executed is sent to the server using HTTP POST request so we need to use uh, 
was mapping for the handler method and the URL uh, file underscore login here handle uh, found login and we can uh, run some uh, customer uh, logics here in case a user fail to log in to the application for example I just print out something to um, the console The user has failed to log in, and after that, uh, return to a logical view name, uh, which will be resolved by Spring uh, MVC. Mm. For example, I want to redirect to the login error page. The default login error page is this uh, URL error here. Okay. Now let's uh, start the application again to test login uh, failure handler. Login and uh, let's try to make a failed login. Login. Click login, and you can see it directs me to the login error page. And in the console view, you can see it prints a user has failed to login here. That means the code in the handler method here were actually executed. Now I'm going to show you how to implement the Failure authentication uh, handler uh, using an anonymous class here. So in uh, this uh, code that configures uh, form login, we call uh, failure handler here, and we for simple case uh, we can uh, get an anonymous class of type authentication failure handler here. Authentication failure handler here, yeah. and you can see it overrides the on authentication failure here, yeah. and we can access the object request response and uh, exception here. Yeah. For example, I want to lock the uh, failed login. The user has failed to. Login error. The error detail is from the exception. Get message. So you can see with this approach, we can uh, access uh, the exception object in case the user failed to login. And to direct the user uh, to the login error page, uh, we use the response object here. Response send uh, redirect and note that uh, in this method we should uh, use the uh, URL path helper provided by Spring Framework to get the context path of the application. Uh, you can use the uh, URL for which last uh, login. Uh, question mark error here, but it won't work in case the application is configured with a context name like shop me here. So that I recommend you to use this helper class to get the context part of the application. Uh, but let me uh, demo uh, without using URL path helper first so we understand. Okay. And let's start the application. So you see with uh, simple uh, logic, uh, we want to execute upon the failed login. We can use this method, uh, failure handler, and create a new anonymous authentic uh, authentication 
uh, failure handler class here. Now let's try to make a fail login attempt. And you see um, the on authentication uh, failure handler method was executed at is prints the message here and error bad credentials here but this statement uh, respond dot send direct to the login error page uh, cost uh, HTTP status for for error here because it uh, redirects the user uh, to a URL that is relative to the um, uh, server context root that's why I recommend you to use this uh, URL path helper provided by Spring to get the context path for a given request here. And then we can uh, direct the user to any page we wish, uh, but uh, it must start with the context path. Like this. Now, let's uh, test uh, again. Back, back to the application login. Login. And you can see this time it directs the user exactly to the login page again. And in the console view, you see it prints. A user has failed to log in, and the error is bad credentials. Yeah. So that's why uh, with this approach, you need to use the helper class like this. For more complex scenario, uh, we should create a separate class that implements the authentication failure handler. Uh, for example, I create a new java class here uh, custom authentication failure handler and we can uh, extend the class uh, symbol url authentication failure handler here finish and we need to override the method uh, on authentication uh, failure here to run our customer logic upon a failed login here and uh, we need to annotate this uh, handler class using the component annotation uh, because uh, in this uh, handler class uh, we need to use an instant of uh, Another class, for example, uh, customer services class here, customer services, and have this uh, auto write by Spring Framework. So, in the on authentication uh, failure, we can use the customer service class here to run some uh, uh, customer logic. We use customer service. For testing purpose, I just uh, print something here. Login failed. Error. Exception. Head message. So we need to create a separate handler class that uh, implements, that extends uh, one of the uh, implementation class of the authentication. Uh, failure handler as you can see the simple url authentication uh, failure handler implements the interface authentication failure handler here and because uh, in this handler class we need to have we need to use an instance of customer service class and we want to have spring framework to auto y an instant of this class. Okay, and in the Spring Security Configuration file, uh, we need to 
or to y here or to y to let Spring Framework to inject an instance of our custom you know, authentication failure handler here failure handler here and in the code that configures the form login here we call failure handler here failure handler here and an instance of the custom authentication failure handler will be injected by Spring Framework and that's why we need to annotate this class using the component annotation and uh, to make this work we need to set the default failure URL here for example to the login uh, error page and we call the method super on authentication failure so it will direct the user to the login error page that's it and uh, we can uh, start our application to test so that's uh, for a complex uh, scenario in which we want to uh, use a separate class for the handler class like this okay now let's test a login again try to make a failed login login and you can see it directs me to the uh, error page and in the console view you can see it prints login failed error patch credentials here that means this custom authentication failure handler uh, class was actually uh, invoked by spring security is the on authentication failure method here so far I have said with you some examples about implementing a login failure handler in a Spring Boot application. I hope you will find this video helpful. Please subscribe and then like, comment and share this video. Thanks for watching.